Welcome back to the Fire Alarm Guy, and today we will be doing a Q&A. Alright, so about six months ago, I posted my last Q&A video. It's just me answering questions that I've built up on my survey that I created. There'll be a link to my survey in the description if you have not yet taken my survey. Um, so let's get right into this video. Alright, so our first question was asked by Evan Bartholomew. He asked, are you going to get more devices, a home system, or a real panel? The answer is yes or no on some of them. I will definitely get more devices throughout the time I'm doing my YouTube channel. Uh, my home system is probably not going to happen. I might have a room system or a mini system, but not a home system. Like, unless I can convince my parents to let me do that. And last but not least, or a real panel. So, panels are expensive, and they cost around 200 to, like, $800. depends on which one you get, so... I will save up for one, but I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon, but it might happen sometime in the future, but not soon. Alright. So our next question was asked by Fire Alarm 360 He asked, do you have any other type of notification device than the Spectre Alert? Well, right now the only horse room I have is the Spectre Alert, but I have another strobe, which is the Wheelock RSS. Um, but I might get more, like, I was thinking about getting, like, the Wheelock MT, but... Who knows, I might get more, I, well I will get more devices throughout um, the time I have my YouTube channel, but it might not be soon. Our next question was asked by Firefreak57. He wrote, did you make your own panel? If so, how might I make one? Um, so, there's a lot of videos that I have on how my trouble on the thing works and just how it works. It's me taking off the faceplate of my panel and you can see all the wiring and everything. I'll link around three videos in the description that might help you know how to make one. I just got my parts off of eBay and got, went to Radio Shack, but um, hopefully you can make your own panel sometime. Jan Davis asked, what is your inspiration to start your channel? Well, when I was around seven or eight, um, uh, I experienced my first fire drill at school. And I was scared, but at the same time, I'm like, that was kind of cool. And I kind of wanted one in my house, but my parents wouldn't let me set off the smoke detectors because they were so loud, and they went off in every single room. So my, my for my birthday, uh, my grandma and grandpa got me a pull station, which was the Simplex T bar. And what I did is I hooked it up to a Radio Shack buzzer, so it ran on like three volts off of just a couple batteries. And I, when I pulled the fire alarm, it would just go and set off the little buzzer, and it was really quiet. And I liked it. And then I just got a horn strobe to go with that, and then a power supply, and then I built my own panel. But the first panel I built was not the one that, you're see, that you see right now in my videos. My first panel was made out of cardboard, but it still worked, and it was really cool. Uh, I might try to recreate that panel, but that'd be a lot of work, because I made it when I was really little. But, and then I, I just got more pull stations, and then my collection grew, and then I started my YouTube channel. Monkey Brett asked, can you get more fire alarms? And the answer is yes, I will get more fire alarms for sure, and exit signs maybe, but as of right now, um, I just need to get some money and then I might buy some more. Started Python 72 asked, do you mind the sounds of alarms beeping? That's a great question, like, you know, every system test, like, you can hear the alarms beeping and everything like that. The answer is no, they don't bother me really. Like I have ear protection on so I don't hurt my ears, but the sound doesn't really bother me. Like there's like like I like just like the sound of like alarms going off if I have ear protection on. If I don't, then it hurts my ears. I don't like that. Sorry if I mispronounced your name, but A Mick Mahon asked, How many pole stations do you have? I have five pull stations and a key switch. So if you include the key switch, then six pull stations. But if you don't, only five. So that's a good question also. Um, Jeffrey asked, where do you buy all the equipment? I buy all my equipment off of eBay. I'll leave you a link in the description for eBay also. Um, so that's a good question. Like, cause, like, you can't really go to the store and buy a fire alarm. You have to like um, order them off the internet. So. You can get them off of Amazon if you just type in fire alarm pull station. Stuff will pop up. Um, last one, here's our last question. This one was by an anonymous person, so they didn't say their name. And they said, what is the difference between their school fire alarm and yours? Well, 
The school fire alarms, if they get set off by pulling a pole station, it would call the fire department and so they can know if there's a real fire and they'll come and put the fire out. But mine, it just sets off an alarm. And the schools have a real panel. And there's probably a lot of other differences. That's just going to be a whole... I can make a whole other video on that because there's so many differences. But, like, the devices are all the same. Like, when you pull the fire out, it'll set off an alarm. Like, the basic idea is the same. But there's a lot of extra features that the school system would do and that mine doesn't. So, I'd like to thank you all for subscribing to my YouTube channel, making it a good channel, and answering my survey. If you have not yet taken the survey, there will be a link in the description. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe.